Welcome to Be The Change and uh, we are live. Uh, just two minutes to go to six, but we are live since you all are joining in. Um, I will introduce my guest who is already in the other side of my screen. She's so vibrant. She's uh, elegant. She's uh, very, uh, I'm so proud to uh, sometimes meet such women. I feel myself, wow, I'm so fortunate to meet such women who are doing wonderful works and especially authors. We are, we are having very few women authors and I'm fortunate to, you know, talk to such authors and she's none other than Jyoti Ja and she's sharing my name and I feel very happy, uh, you know, to talk to her. Hi, Jyoti. How are you? I'm fine. Hi. And uh, thank you and uh, for uh, letting me be on the show. It's quite an honor and glad to be here. And of course, sharing name with you is quite an honor. Mm. Very delighted. <laughs> you and I am very happy and honored. So uh, before I introduce what Jyoti uh, is, Jyoti, uh, when people are joining in and also you can uh, send in stars for this show if you, if you like my show and if you want to you know, make make such content, make, uh, you know, I want to do such content, you want to encourage me, please do send the stars. And also, you can ask any question regarding writing or anything uh, about uh, writing or uh, storytelling, because our guest is a wonderful storyteller and a writer. So you can ask questions, she'll be answering. Also, I will let you know how to connect with her and understand. So my first question to you, Jyoti, is what is that one change which happened to you during the pandemic? Um, see, there were so many changes happening around us, within us. But for me personally, individually, the biggest change that happened in my life was writing, I would say, because it started around the same time. And mm -hmm. uh, writing helped me survive the pandemic, in fact. And it helped me rediscover myself, both as a person and as a writer. So I would say writing is one thing that happened to me. And there were so many other things. As I said, once I started writing, there were so many things I started uh, seeing with a newer perspective, life, everything around me. I was more observant. I'm more thankful and I keep... Uh, counting my blessings and feeling, feeling grateful for them. And uh, as I said, evolving as a person and writer each day. So that's one thing that happened to me, apart from so many things that happened to the world and to every person. Such. It's very nice to hear. So uh, I'll introduce about Jyoti. Jyoti Jha is an author. She's a storyteller. She's a columnist. She's... Uh, she was actually, she started her career as an HR and then yes. she turned into an author. So uh, we'll be talking about that. That's one question I really wanted to know because a HR turning into an author is a, is a unique combination. So uh, what are the awards she has won? She's, I mean, I have a list of it. I had to write <laughs> before the show. You guys trust me, I've written it. <laughs> and I'm going to read it out. She's a winner of the Times of India Writer India Season 3. She's a winner of that. And she's uh, awarded as uh, Savitri by Fulke. Uh, what is this? Uh, Rashi yeah, Samman. Yes. Rashi Samman. So, so we are South Indians. You have to bear with that. <laughs> 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 she's, she's also into Global Progressive Women of 2022. So, so many awards, so many things. And, uh, you know, it's very encouraging to be an author. So, my, uh, my question to you is, Jyoti, the HR is considered the person <laughs> who the entire company is afraid of, you know? <laughs> I worked in a corporate for almost 15 years. I was heading for the South, but wow. still, I'm very yeah. afraid of Hicharya because we <laughs> <laughs> constantly have questions on everything. So, yes. you, you're portrayed as a HR is a very serious person. Mm -hmm. Then you becoming an author, which is a completely creative thing. So, how did this happen, Jyoti? Uh, see, uh, what I would say is uh, um, being HR was just maybe it happened for me 
as life was taking its course. But writing happened by choice and also by accident, but for the best, uh, as I would say. And being an HR, as you said, yes, there you have to be so diplomatic and politically correct. And, you know, you have to balance your words, each and every word. Whereas as a writer, you feel liberated with every word that you put out there. And you express everything, anything. And there are very less boundaries because, you know, there are so many genres and you write about so many things because writers are supposed to put it all out there, you know. So uh, as we say, um, uh, it is the mirror to the society. So you have to give out the truth in the most purest form. So it's quite a transition and it happened for me easily because I have always been an introvert. And as I said, mm. HR was not... Uh, the perfect choice for me, although I pulled it off very well and I was quite good at it, quite appreciated and so many accolades I got while I was working. So, okay. yes, but as a writer, I feel much better as a person. So, Jyoti, when this uh, thing of uh, that you felt that you were a writer, how did this thought come to you? Because writing needs a lot of uh, thinking and then writing so how did this thing, because HR is a, again more of an administrative person, you yes. study uh, that uh, of managing people, you know, yes. it's all about yes. human resources. Now, when you are into creative field, it's different, you are, uh, you are writing characters, you are writing things. So how is it that, you know, when did you know that you, you can write? Uh, it just happened most recently, a few years, as I said, uh, about pandemic and a little before that it happened. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. reading has always been there for me because uh, okay. I have had a literature ingrained upbringing both in my school and at home. So where I was mm -hmm. introduced to a vast literature, both in English and Hindi, be it classics mm -hmm. or be it in the libraries where I would explore more genres. So mm -hmm. reading has always been on and off in my life, whether I was in UK, then I used to read so many books on mystery, thriller, thrillers, and uh, all those uh, drama and romance and all those genres. But okay. being, being a writer as such, I had never thought I would be a writer. But of course, whenever mm -hmm. I would hold a book in my hand, there was always a longing, which I was never able to pinpoint my finger at. What was that? Okay. And Today, when I hold my book in my hand with my name written on it, I feel uh, satisfied and fulfilled. So maybe that was that longing, which was all along. So I okay. discovered it when I won the Write India um, uh, challenge. So it just okay. happened. Yeah. So I, when I was rediscovering, because I was an HR long, long back, maybe in another lifetime. So, and then I became so many other things in between when I took a break from my career and then I went globe trotting. So when I came back to India, I was looking for, for to forward to restarting my career and I was discovering mm -hmm. so many avenues. And uh, mm -hmm. that is when I started writing some movie reviews, some book reviews mm -hmm. and which were quite mm -hmm. appreciated. So that gave me an encouragement. And uh, that's when my husband once uh, saw that uh, ad advertisement in the newspaper about Write India. And he said, why don't you participate? You write quite well and all that. So I participated. And luckily, my very first short story was a winner. So that probably gave me a stamp. That, OK, now this is what you have to do in your life. Go ahead with it. And that's how I discovered the writer in me. And since then, I have had four books and I have done so many things in between, all related to writing. Wonderful, wonderful, Jyoti. Uh, Jyoti, tell me something. Uh, if somebody uh, wants to write, okay, but they don't know how to put it properly, like how you write, they might not be expert. You have built it over a period of time. You yourself have been reading. You yourself has been developing. But most of the amateur uh, writers or who, who like writing, not only fiction or non-fiction, they like to write even blogging, blogging. So would you be doing uh, interested to, you know, teach them? Uh, because many people after this show, when they watch it, when I broadcast it, uh, they will contact us for, you know, if she is teaching, because many times it happens. So will you be able to uh, teach them to, you know, 
uh, how to write or conduct a workshop for them so how is it uh, see, what I believe is I wouldn't be able to teach them, but of course, I would learn along with them. Uh, as uh, I am quite new to the industry, I wouldn't call myself an expert on the matter. However, I'm learning and evolving each day. And I would love mm -hmm. to share my learnings and experience from writing with people who would be interested. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm available on all the social media platforms and I'm available mm -hmm. on my website, uh, myviewsandreviews.in mm -hmm. and also uh, Literia Insight who help who help me and uh, who guide me day in and day out with my all literary work and uh, branding and marketing marketing aspects. So they can also be contacted uh, for this. What and um, yes. So if you still so, want to connect with Jyoti, you can just I'll put all the links of her after this podcast. You can just go and uh, check in her website, Insta or LinkedIn, wherever you want to connect with her. And if you want any help from her, she's there to help and guide you when you're writing. So in that way, we can have many writers. Why I ask this question, Jyoti, is I have found, especially there are very few, uh, I feel that women writers are very mm. popular writers, are very few writers. You can just take their names comparative yes. to the men yes. writers. Globally, yes. I'm saying, I'm not saying yes. um, Indian or any particular country, but globally also, if you say. Yes. So why do you think that has happened? See, earlier what it was, things have changed quite a bit over the centuries, I would say, because in the very earlier times, there was no education access to women and their uh, status in the society was very, very degraded, I would say, uh, very mm -hmm. uh, remote. And uh, that's why that was one of the reasons maybe when early, in earlier times, there were very few, very, very few rare women writers mm -hmm. who would come forward and express. And things mm -hmm. have been changing with the modern uh, liberalization and then modernism and everything. And with the mm -hmm. literary modernism, as we call. In the, more, mm -hmm. in the recent times, we see many popular uh, women writers who have come forward and who have made a mark for themselves, be it Jhumpa Lahiri, be it Preeti Shinoy, uh, Sudha Murthy, and then um, there are so many Anita Desai, Kiran Desai, Chitra Banerjee, and there are so many names. And today when I Google, I yeah. see a long list, and it's quite an inspiration for all the budding writers out there. And things are changing. But of course, being popular in writing for women is still a little little bit challenging because unless and until you are financially independent to be able to take that decision of investing all your time effort energy and finances to that goes into you know all the brand building marketing and everything so it's quite a big decision and uh, quite time consuming so that is one of yeah, the no. factors but things are changing now as yeah, i have mentioned yes lot. In my book, Anandi, as the story goes, I would like to just put it in here. Yeah, yeah, uh, please. Yes, I have portrayed the story of a woman. And it is, I would say, as quoted by one of the media houses of the country, an illustrative symbol of women empowerment. So that shows few decades ago what was life for a, uh, a girl. And uh, it, it, it has helped the readers understand and think about whether things have changed for women at all in certain aspects although largely things have changed but there are certain situations certain instances where we feel we are stuck in a time zone so that's what but then there are still you know uh, positive things happening and we hope to see more and more women uh, writers out there and with the current trend of everything digital online so many portals and so many uh, channels for expression it has eased out um, things a little bit more and there are more women who are coming forward to write in various forms of expression may not be only literary works but also as you said blogs there are so many content that are created yes correct 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 yeah. So, uh, I, I want to take this forward on mm -hmm. uh, writing aspect. You are also a storyteller. Now, uh, again, uh, being an author is different. Yes. And you are also telling your story because yes. most of the authors are not good storytellers. Whatever <laughs> they have uh, written, mm -hmm. they'll read it out. They're good readers. Mm -hmm. I myself mm -hmm. have gone to lots and lots of uh, 
uh, author reading sessions, mm -hmm. uh, which they do when they launch their mm -hmm. book. So how this storytelling came in and how did you do it with the zeal or did you do it because you felt that you can tell your stories much better than others? How this happened? I don't know if I can tell it better than others, but of course I can try my level best to put my my thoughts out there. So a storyteller, largely I am a storyteller. And of course it will again go back to Write India because those prompts that they give, it uh, mm -hmm. certainly made me form those stories in my head. And then I started writing and then I wrote some other independent stories on my own. So mm -hmm. storytelling for me is, I think it's more of the characters and the incidents and things flowing through. Whereas writing, as you said, being an author of a novel or a book, which is more profound, where you have more of observations there. So mm -hmm. storytelling has more of incidents going through with a little bit of, you know, observations in between, I feel. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and a prop and, and a, a book a novel would have more of so many observations from life put in there so that's why you know many times as you said in book reading you feel that the storytelling is not there so it, the story is there but there are so many things in between whereas in a story there is only a story and then there are a little bit here and there but it would still let you think and ponder upon so many things so story all right. telling also has that power that's true. That's true. Because yes, yes. the storytelling is yes. is actually the next big thing happening, and yes. uh, I'm very happy that you're doing this also, because you feel whatever you feel you can express. That's interesting. Yes. So, uh, Jyoti, you you have launched recently a book, and I mm -hmm. want you to talk about it. I've also put in the poster, and mm -hmm. many people contacted me regarding this. That what is the book all about? Mm -hmm. So, why don't you tell about it? Sure, I would love to. This is the book, if I may show. <laughs> yes. yes. You can you bring a... it closer to the camera once yes. more? Yes. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. This is available in Amazon? Or how is it? Yes. How can I purchase this book? It's available the in Amazon. Yes, the paperback is available on Amazon and the ebook mm -hmm. is available on Google Play. Google Play. So yes. uh, will you give us the links also so that yes. I can put it after we broadcast it so people who can yes, want yes. to read it or buy it, you can they can do that. So uh, sure. tell me something okay. about this book. What is it and what, how did it come? Yes, the book is Heart Sanctuary and Other Stories. And as mm -hmm. I said, and we have been discussing, I'm largely a storyteller. So I have so many mm -hmm. stories in my kitty, in my laptop, uh, waiting out there. And uh, my very first short story collection was the realms of human emotions and mm -hmm. uh, it was very largely accepted by both uh, some media houses of the country and also by the readers it was quite loved and uh, mm -hmm. this book has all the stories from the realms of human emotions and mm -hmm. some new stories and mm -hmm. it is a revamped version of my previous short story collection and it okay. has 13 stories that deal with the complexities of human emotions and that have been portrayed through the everyday simple living of human beings and mm -hmm. how they affect our relationships, all kinds of relationships, mm -hmm. be it uh, parent and child, be it siblings, be it uh, uh, an artist and a muse, be it uh, unrequited uh, uh, college romance or there are so many things portrayed in different stories here uh, stories of survival love romance and anger and all sorts of emotions that we deal with every wow. day in our life in the simple living so there are 13 stories and it's a short story collection and uh, it was previously some of the stories as i said was in the previous book and those were reviewed by the times of india free press journal and quite appreciated then and there are a few more stories now for the readers to read in this book. And uh, as I said, it is available on Amazon and Google Play. It is published by Books Clinic Publishing and it is handled okay. by Literia Insight. Wonderful, wonderful. There's a comment here from Radhika. She's saying I would love to buy this book. Yeah, mm -hmm. that I will put in the link. Don't worry about it. Sure. I will put in the, this thing. Uh, so don't worry. And any other questions you guys want to ask? Jyoti on uh, how to be an author or do you have any questions to her you can ask uh, you know you're welcome it's a live show 
so uh, jyoti uh, going back uh, to your uh, thing of being a columnist again uh, mm-hmm. this is another part of you uh, so we spoke about being an author then a storyteller now a columnist now this is a different thing so how did this come and what type of things you write as a columnist uh see this was uh, the idea was first proposed by the literary mirror it's a part mm-hmm. of uh, literaria insight where i am associated with as an author mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. i they have been guiding me throughout because as i said i was quite new to writing i had only mm-hmm. started discovering how things work i was here mm-hmm. just to write and express as much as i can and as long as i can so that's mm-hmm. what i discussed with uh, mr nitish raj from literary insight and then he said okay. there are so many avenues you can explore as writer it may not okay. be restricted to just uh, publishing books and books so okay. he saw some of my sample writings and then he told me why don't you write for our magazine in the column mm-hmm. and then i was wow. quite excited and i also nervous but then i have been doing quite well so far uh, we just completed one year of column writing for the literary mirror and i largely okay. write about uh, family life and relationships there wow. and uh, yes so and there's all the links are available on my website and it is available on the literary mirror for all the readers if they would like to read about read. Uh, what Wonderful. i write in my columns and recently i have started writing uh, some articles in hindi as well and uh, that is published in some uh, newspapers media houses yeah great great now uh, you are you have done literary uh, works writing mm-hmm. uh, because mm-hmm. that's a different thing because writing something which is coming out of your mind is different but when you are writing a literary thing it's different because you yes. need lot of research and everything so how did this happen and tell me about that it's in uh, it's in hindi right it is in hindi it's yes. not in english no. so tell me tell us about it uh it happened uh, because i am as i said i'm uh, uh, the president of savitri bai phule uh, sakshnik uh, seva foundation and uh, okay. the people i'm associated with they said uh, again i was about to give uh, uh, my adhyakshata bhashan you know presidential uh, speech. speech yeah in one of the events and uh, which unfortunately unfortunately i couldn't attend so i sent a sample of it and then they said oh my god you uh, they really appreciated and liked what i had written and then they proposed why don't you start writing for us and then for the whole year ahead there is a list of okay write 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 so i have <laughs> one year full pack and uh, i wrote about women empowerment mahila sashaktikaran okay. my very uh-huh. first article and my uh-huh. second article was about uh, swatantrata sangram and sahitya the role of uh, uh you know literature in literature. The, yes so, mm-hmm. so this is just my second article and there are many more to go fingers crossed <laughs> yeah. so <laughs> yeah, yeah so lit- for it. and it is yeah. a bit difficult as you said what is the difference because i have also been a blogger i i and i have also been writing literary pieces now so it's mm-hmm. quite a journey that i have uh, uh, achieved for myself it's quite a milestone for me personally and what i feel is when i used to blog i was just feeling liberated i could write everything and anything out there while writing a literary piece you feel responsible for each and every word that you put out there so that's one thing that as a personally i felt i feel more responsible for my every word that i put out there wonderful wonderful uh, jyoti this is one question i always want to ask an author uh, mm-hmm. and i always felt that now when you're writing stories okay mm-hmm. you you visualize something and you you that is what you put it on the yes. uh, whatever you're writing so when you are writing it will you are you a person who uh, just think and it with the flow you write it or is just that you know you whenever your thoughts come you write and then wait for your thoughts and you know how to end a story how to you know bring that uh, you know curiosity in the story no what because fiction writing is most difficult yes, thing to write and how did how you think because as a writer what do you think i just want to understand because i am not a writer uh, uh, but 
I want to understand how the writer feels, how is their mindset when they're writing. See, for every writer, it works differently, I feel. But largely, mm-hmm. it is it is uh, same for most of the people. For me, individually, what happens is there is just an idea that I may suddenly have and a framework of a story that I will Mm -hmm. immediately have formed in my head. And then I would have that urge to immediately put it out there on my laptop without wasting a single second, whether it is the midnight, whether it is early morning or suddenly in the daytime, I will have something in my head. Then I would want to jot it all down. So for me, it's just the flow of thoughts. The very first draft that happens is the flow of thoughts as and when they happen, however it happens. Mm -hmm. So it's the most crude form of my imagination and thoughts and observations and everything that goes on to that story and once it is there then I read it myself two three times and then if I want to make any changes I would make changes and then I would go on to those uh, regress uh, improvement of my work through the regular channels of having beta readers and then having expert opinions from the industry and also then getting it edited and all those things so those things come later so for me as a per- yeah. yes so for me mm-hmm. as a person i believe that storytelling comes first the stories mm-hmm. came first and all the mm-hmm. technicalities come later so that's, that's more to understand us and the market and the readers and everything but the most original form that comes from a writer is what uh, actually defines you as a writer i think and then then you trim it and all those things keep happening so that's fun. wonderful wonderful i'm looking forward uh, for all your stories to be made into uh, some oh, content wow. in OTTs. wow uh, I <laughs> so yes. something uh, fingers crossed i would definitely yes every writer's dream because uh, video content is of course more entertaining for the more viewers. entertaining absolutely yes. absolutely uh, Jyoti, here I just want to uh, take back to you on mm-hmm. uh, why, uh, you know, women, uh, especially the middle-aged women, are mm-hmm. finding a lot of crisis, uh, uh, um, you know, in managing many things. And sometimes if they want to do something like you, for example, taking a break from your career and coming back and doing something else that completely different in the career. They themselves, it's not that somebody is holding, it's not that their family is holding or it's not the society or anything like that. I feel that most of them feel that they are not fit for doing something, you know. Mm. They might have taken a maternity break or some family issue break or some health issue break, but they don't want to, uh, you know, come back and do something. But that is always running in their head to do something, but they never come back. So, you have done that phenomenal thing of, you know, breaking that barriers and coming and putting yourself out and, you know, writing books, you know, winning so many awards. So it's not easy for, you know, uh, someone to think like that. So how, what do you feel that, how do you want the women to inspire and how do you want to tell to such women who really want to do something in their life? Uh, see, first of all, uh, thank you so much for all the praises. <laughs> uh, I'm just doing my job, I feel. Um, but uh, coming back to your question, I feel lucky that I'm able to do that. And what I would tell to every other woman out there who is looking forward to rediscovering themselves, as you said, I would quote that, break the shackles and also, you know, of your mind first. Everything else comes later, the family, society and everything. It has to start here. And then uh, once that is achieved, then take that leap of faith because that that is quite difficult, actually. And especially with a career gap, you know, it's difficult for a woman to then get back to that track, and especially if you are changing that track all over, together. Mm. So take that leap of faith and ha- build a team around you because every time you don't need to stand against the world. It's sometimes better if you have a team with you and you can walk forth your uh, and keep creating a path for yourself. And also, please support each other. So that's the best mm-hmm. we can do because shining in somebody else's glory may not uh, take away your uh, um, 
you know your glory so shining in somebody else's light may will not take away your glory so build a team support each other and uh, guide each other and find people who can guide you also that also helps many a times and uh, i will repeat it again take that leap Please. of faith yes uh, come again come again take that leap of faith and uh, never give up that's never one give. more thing i would say never give up never it's never too up. late that's, that's and never fantastic. give up it's not too late never give never up give up take that leap wonderful wonderful because this is something uh, every women should understand that you know nobody is stopping you it's you yes. you yourself are stopping yes. and as she said have people around you who are, who are like minded to you and help each other that's wonderful yes. jyoti because most of the time what happens is maybe we need some kind of support from somebody and that yes. when you get a like minded people it really helps a uh, yeah. wonderful way of putting it you so that's that's fantastic uh, jyoti uh, before mm-hmm. we end this session we almost yeah. spoke more than half an hour and i didn't even realize it so mm-hmm. uh, before we end this session uh, i just want to understand that you have written a uh, lot of stories in your recent book which you have mm-hmm. launched um, mm-hmm. which is your favorite uh, story out of the 13 stories you have written in that book uh my uh, i wouldn't say it's very difficult it's like choosing among your children but <laughs> <laughs> every story i read i feel no this is good this is good because every writer feels their work is best <laughs> and i'm no exception to that rule but I of course know. if i have to choose then of course the title says it all heart sanctuary is my mm-hmm. uh, most favorite story that's the very okay. first story in the book and that goes as a title as well heart sanctuary and other heart stories sanctuary. Heart sanctuary. and i would also and yes and i would also say yeah. the painting the painting <laughs> the painting so, yes so guys buy her book and read these to heart sanctuary and the painting these are the two stories with jyoti herself is recommending <laughs> <laughs> and I would recommend I all the stories. <laughs> She's recommending all the stories to me. <laughs> yes. But it's her favorite. For at least for these two things, you guys have yes. to buy. And uh, it's nice to you know understand from the author's mind what they feel. And uh, my final question to you, Jyoti, is mm-hmm. what do you want to say to the women of today who are doing multitasking and trying to be a good mother, good daughter, good sister, good wife, good daughter-in-law, what not, and good mother? Mm-hmm. I mean, मतलब सब कुछ करके then she has to um, make herself a name. So yes, juggling yes. and uh, trying to prove something and then feeling yes. guilty that yes, oh. i'm not good at it maybe i'm uh, unfit for it having that mm. going to that self pity mode bahut baar hote hai you know especially yes. women mein wo yes. wo hota hai ki main sab kuch theek nahi kar rahi hu so yes. what do you want to tell to the women out there uh i would say don't try to be a super woman first and foremost try to be a human being and uh, accept your mistakes and uh, acknowledge the fact that you are allowed to make mistakes in every role that you play you don't have to be perfect everywhere you can keep trying to do your best but don't overdo just live your life and enjoy all the roles that you play in your life but never forget being a woman enjoy and cherish being a woman so that's cherish being mm-hmm. correct yes. so that's yeah. what i would say wonderful wonderful jyoti it was nice talking to you and i'm looking forward for many more uh, you know books and novels and series from you very soon <laughs> and uh, it will be wonderful it comes and uh, guys who you want to ask any question on writing or on uh, anything related to blogging vlogging storytelling you can just and she's also a columnist so if you are an amateur you are new to this thing and you want to understand it you can connect with her i'll put all the links of her and also her website in this live after i broadcast it you can connect with her and you can talk to her uh, on it and she'll surely help and i i request her in future to do lots of workshop for such 
uh, amateur uh, kids who are coming in to just even for blogging workshops, blogging workshops, creative writing, I would uh, love to suggest Jyoti to, I really want you to do a workshop for such people because uh, there are many people who want to do storytelling and creative writing, but they don't know the basics. At least that workshop of yours will really help. And I'm looking forward for that. Uh, thank you so much, Jyoti. Thank, thank, you. thank you for joining me. Having a, have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. It was quite an honor being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.